Hey, what's up, Scott Balkum here, and I'm with Kessler Crane today, and we are talking about power. Well, specifically, power options for your Kessler Cindy Shooter. So you've got your Kessler Cindy Shooter, and you are excited, and you're excited because it has a variety of power options, and that helps you, as a creator, be flexible and be able to pivot when you need to. Let's go through the power options and I'll show you how to install several of them, connect several of them, or even show you some you didn't even know you had. On the side right here, you see is a two pin Limo. So this is a standard two pin Limo connection and that allows you to run it however you like with any standard two pin Limo. Just plug it in right there and away you go. So the next one we're going to talk about is this barrel connection right here, and it's actually a multiple use connection. Main one right here is the included Kessler power adapter. Make sure you only use the included power adapter. It has the correct voltage, correct polarity, correct amperage to make it run smooth and efficient. If you use the wrong one, you might cause damage and you don't want to be in that scenario. So to plug it in, literally just plug it in right there on the barrel. But what you may not have also understood is, well, you can use a Kessler mag pack. Now, right here, we see the V-mount is on here. I'm just gonna remove this temporarily. We're gonna install this in just a moment so you can see that. But you can take your mag pack and just stick it right to the side, plug in your barrel connector from the bottom into your barrel connection, and you're powered. You're powered with a lot of juice from the Kessler mag pack. And the best thing about these, well, they're magnetic. They'll help you uh, in those sticky situations if you, you well okay magnetism uh the next item we have to talk about is v mount or gold mount so i've already removed the cover here but you just want to carefully remove the cover and then carefully pull out the little connector right here on the back of your purchased v mount or gold mount adapter there should be a little molex connector and that molex connector well it happens to line up perfectly with this one so what we want to do is we want to line up. There's a little barb on this side and a little lock on this side. Notice that they go right in and they click. They lock in place. And now what you want to do is you want to carefully tuck this all in so that it's not exposed. And then magnetism will help you the rest of the way. Next, take the four included screws and you're going to go right in and then start to screw them down. Once you are done with all four screws, well, you are mounted and you are good to go. You could do this with gold mount, you could do this with a V mount. You have a variety of power options and really it's, it's only limited by you. Well, and I guess the, the, the power options themselves, but it's very simple, very quick uh, to, power your Cine shooter. So I hope this video has empowered you to use your Kessler Cine shooter in ways you hadn't thought of before, giving you the variety of power options. And if you have any questions along the way or you just need support, head over to the good folks at Kessler Crane at KesslerCrane.com. There is a variety of support options under the support tab, including a fact with frequently asked questions. Uh, there are links to videos like mine. And then there's a way to submit a travel ticket. You can talk to them on the phone. You can send them an email. There's a variety of ways. And I encourage you to reach out if you have any problems along the way. They're fantastic. And they love to hear from you. Tell them Scott sent you.